stream and then we'll get this. Give us just a minute. We'll be live stream here in just a second. Look at all your pretty faces. Look at you all smile when I said that. <laughs> I love it. All right, we'll be streaming in a second. All right. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Monday night. It is so good to be with you. Welcome to our Team Up uh, weekly Zoom. Guys, it's the 1st of May. It's the 1st of May. And I got to tell you, April was an outstanding, outstanding month. Um, and a little, and I think maybe not next week or the week after, we'll go into some celebration. Because I'm going to tell you, um, we wrapped up the month with about, not about, with 400 new AROs. And let's face it, we almost had a week off you know, in the month of April. So we closed out with 400 new AROs and people are coming to team. And it just seems like we have a new mindset and I am excited because tonight's call is all about new mindset. You know, Steph Fletch and I have been visiting quite a bit about, you know, we do a lot of celebration, um, you know, and, and conversations like that on this call. Uh, but tonight we're actually gonna take you into an action exercise. And that action exercise is all around Healthy Living Affiliates. Show of hands if you know what Healthy Living Affiliates is. All right, I'm going to take you down memory lane here just for a second. Healthy Living Affiliates started in my living room a year ago. Jeff Olson came to town and it was the beginning of, uh, let's just say, a revolution of ideas. And uh, we interviewed about 50 Juice Plus partners to pick what I call like the sweet 10 that ended up being part of our core Healthy Living Affiliates group. And Dana Popham is here tonight and she's one of my buddies from Healthy Living Affiliates Task Force. Okay, so coming out of conference, what we know is that the home office is on the same page with us and we're excited. So we have launched the second phase of Healthy Living Affiliates. We've launched it. What that's gonna look like is live calls on the first and second Tuesday night of the month. And the following week, that following Saturday is gonna be a startup training. And so tonight we're gonna to focus on action. How can you use Healthy Living Affiliates to grow your business? So before I bring Steph on board, I wanna show you how easy it is to access Healthy Living Affiliates. You have to go to the healthylivingaffiliates.com website. Camilla, do you want to put that up, honey? For those of you that haven't visited yet, oh my gosh, there it is. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the recorded calls that we have from the past. Okay, recorded four-part series. It's there for you to enjoy. You can still send prospects to our recorded calls, learning the new language of product and the new language of affiliate marketing. It's right here for your use. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to showcase John Blair. It's going to be live. And you'll see right there, access webinars, live webinars. So you're going to send a prospect to healthylivingaffiliates.com you're gonna tell them to simply hit the live webinar button and they're good to go. That's how easy this is going to be. So this is not just for you. This is to help you grow your business and we're excited. So with that, drum roll please, the amazing IMD, Stephanie Fletcher from San Antonio. Steph, take it away. How do we do this, Steph? How do I use this to grow my business? You guys are so cute. I see y'all clapping silently. Okay, so if you want to bring that picture back up, um, Pamelia, I just want you guys to look at this for a minute. So Terry and I have um, talked and we are super excited to welcome 
Dana Poppins team and Stacey Whitmer's team to our team up organization. We are adapting them. And so all I know is that more, especially for me, the more brilliant minds that I can surround myself with, the better. And y'all know Stacey, I know y'all heard her talk, y'all heard her talk at the conference if we were there. And then Dana Popham is amazing as well. If you haven't gotten to know her, you will, um, because she will be doing some stuff for our team. So I want you guys to look at this real quick. Um, first of all, look at how clean and crisp and fresh all these images are. Look at the verbiage. This is where we are heading. And the beautiful thing about it is that we now, as of May, have a little bit of a rhythm, Okay, and I think rhythm and systems are super important to businesses like ours. And so on Monday night, the first Monday night of the month, we are going to dig in and we're going to get into action in order to propel our month right in the right direction. So if we're just looking at all the stuff and showing up to all the stuff and listening to podcasts and we are looking at all the stuff on our boards and what's new in our emails, that's great. That is wonderful. That is part of being an affiliate marketer. But if you are not actually taking that information and connecting with people, it is worth zero, like nil. So this is what we are planning on doing on the first Monday of the month. Then we're going to get into action. So first Monday, we're getting into action. The second week on Tuesday, you are going to be participating in the first one of these affiliate calls, which is about the product, okay? And then on the third Tuesday, on the third Monday, so follow me, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, we're on the third week, is we're gonna have, and it's the 15th this month, which is smack dab in the middle of the month. It's like so perfect. We start on the first, then smack dab in the middle, we're gonna have Stacey Whitmer deliver her amazing training that she did at conference to you guys and you guys are going to like be blown away. So just be ready. Um, so that's middle of the month. Like, let's go. We're going to do some training, amazing training to get us, ourselves organized and kind of, you know, continuing in, in this action part. It's all about action. And then the next day on Tuesday, you can invite to a business prospect type of um, call with Sean. Um, it's going to be an amazing call as well. Again, through this whole affiliate thing. So you can look at it. There's John Blair. Then there's Sean. Okay, so we're now on the third Monday, Tuesday, and then the last Monday, it's not actually the last, there's five Mondays this month, but we're going to, the last one is a holiday. So the fourth Monday this month, um, we're going to do another action call. We're just going to focus on following up. So that's our rhythm. We get into action. We have two calls to invite to. We train ourselves, which is super important to improve ourselves. And then we follow up and we end our month strong. <gasps> How's that sound? Amazing. Okay. So go ahead and take off the screen. What? I said I'm happy. Oh, good. Luongo's happy. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Did you guys all come with a list of prospects? We did ask that. If you didn't, don't, don't freak out. It's okay. Because I'm sure you have a running list in your head, on your phone, on some 45 pieces of paper on your desk like mine. I mean, y'all, I'm not even joking. I have lists everywhere. Okay. So organization is not my strong suit in certain areas. But here's what we're going to do. For the next few minutes, I'm going to give you guys an action. I'm going to mute out and you guys are going to get to work. Here's what I want you guys to think about. I know we also have a lot of introverts and I know we have a lot of people like, oh, I don't know what to say. It's just so complicated. Here's the deal. I'm going to be super honest with y'all. You guys are way over complicating this. Okay. So pretend I want even you introverts because you're all like one-on-one -on -one is your jam. Okay, so introverts, extroverts, I don't care who you are. I want you to focus on like, I'm sitting here in front of Dana. I'm at the coffee shop and I want to tell Dana about Juice Plus or I want to invite Dana to the call that's tomorrow night. What am I going to tell Dana? That's what you're going to type out. You're going to invite your Dana tomorrow night to a call. Here's the deal. Let me tell you the, the background of the call tomorrow night so that you know what to do. Tomorrow night is John Blair. If you guys went to conference, you heard about the history of Juice Plus. He was like the guy that created this whole idea of Juice Plus and got it to the hands of John uh, J. Martin and went on and on. And the history of it was so fascinating. I have not even heard some of those details. So tomorrow night, he's going to go into 30 minutes of the history behind Juice Plus, where it's going, very product-oriented, 
probably some business as well tucked in there. Um, so thinking staff, about staff yeah. tomorrow night, uh, John Blair is really going to be focusing on the future of Juice Plus. Okay. He's That's not going to really get into the backstory. He might hit on a few bullets of the backstory, but his focus on tomorrow night's call is the future of our plant powders, the future of Juice Plus, where we're going and why we're positioned for growth and expansion. Okay, so thinking about that, who is gonna want to hear that? Possibly your current customers, right? Possibly team that you've talked to before about joining and you're like, hey, this is a guy that's literally the create one of the creators of Juice Plus, if you want to kind of hear where Juice Plus is going, I would love for you to jump on this call tomorrow night. Okay, so don't overthink it. Don't put too much meat into it. Keep it light. Keep it short and ask a question. Hey, I'm literally on this call and I'm finding out there's a call tomorrow night that sounds amazing. And it's talking about the future of Juice Plus. I know we've kind of been in this conversation about joining me in this business or joining the product, whatever you want to talk about. Would you want to jump on a call tomorrow and join me and just kind of listen to this guy? I heard him at conference. He's amazing. Um, I'm curious if you want to get on there. If the answer is yes, you send them one of the beautiful images that probably is posted in one of your team pages. Okay. Does this make sense for the short two or three minutes? Don't overthink it. You're in a conversation with your Dana. Stacy also put in the chat um, a sample. Or did you? I started to, oh. and then I hit enter oh. on accident, and then it, and then I tried to delete it, but it didn't delete. So I'm working on it. Give me a minute. Okay, just give her a minute. But anyway, the most important thing is that you want it to sound like you. Okay, it's one of the reasons I actually don't love verbiage because most of the time it's not going to sound like you. You can take verbiage and create it yourself. But try to take the verbiage and make it sound like Judy or Patty or Dana or Sonia, whatever. Just make it sound like you. All right. Don't overthink it. You've got three minutes to send it out to at least one person, if not three. Ready? Say go. This is for tomorrow night. You're inviting to tomorrow night to John Blair. There's some verbiage in the chat. If you guys need something, you got about a minute and a half left. So just push send. Don't think about it too long. You can even not spell it right. It really doesn't matter. No one cares. They only care how you make them feel, not what you're saying.
Put your little raised hand thing on your screen if you've sent at least one message. Do y'all know how to do the little hand thing? There you go. Look at your little hands. Oh, y'all are so cute. I love it. Tara. Good job. Andrea's got it. Tasha, the other Stephanie, Sonia, Alicia, Abby. And good job, guys. All right. We're going to move on. Why can't I see myself anymore? Oh, there I am. I keep moving around the screen. Um, because I got to mute myself and unmute myself. All right. So Next, if you didn't get done, it's fine. Just put that aside and know that when we get off of here, you got to go back to it because you got to complete at least one connection. All right. So next, we're going to go to the following week. We have our amazing Sean Hopkins that's going to be doing a presentation. Um, Dana, do you want to explain a little bit about what that one's going to look like? She's on the committee. Too. Um, well, it's going to, I think it's going to be more. Terry, you may know more than me, but it's going to be more business, I think, focused. I think it'd be a great call to invite um, anyone interested in joining your team. I mean, it's anything, you know, for those of you that heard Sean at conference, I mean, it'll make you super proud to be affiliated with the Juice Plus company. So it'd be a great opportunity to invite anybody that you want to recruit. Yeah, Dana, you're absolutely right. Uh, what really was so gratifying for us was that when Sean was on stage at conference, he was using our HLA language. And he was so proud of that because he had told us the night before in a cocktail reception, you know, just wait, just wait till you see what I'm going to deliver on stage. You're just going to be blown away. So he was using not just our language, but some of our images. And with this new season of HLA, what you're going to see is the medical professionals that will be presenting. It's not going to be all just Jeff. Um, the medical professionals that are going to be presenting will be using our imaging. They'll be using our language. And remember that everything that we have created, we created for clarity. We created to bring more value. And we, we created so that will be an effective tool. And so Sean uh, on the 9th will be delivering a message that's very, very much appropriate for prospects, customers that have been around, that person that's been sitting, you know, in your, in your subconscious mind saying, call me and you haven't, this will be perfect for that person. So again, this is the rhythm of success and it's so exciting. Okay. So for the following Tuesday, so you're already inviting to the following Tuesday now, we're moving forward. So people that you have on your prospect list that maybe you have talked about team before, or maybe you want to make that first connection now. So actually I had a girl, <clears throat> I made a post, I think it was last week, I can't remember. And I had a girl that said, hey, I would kind of like to talk to you about what you, you posted. Um, I might be interested in that business you're talking about. And so that's something I'm going to write her. We're supposed to connect and we haven't yet, like, you know, talking one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to invite her to that call. Um, so this is for people you might have talked about the business. So this is a, a, maybe a follow-up um, to that. Maybe it's inviting for the first time. So if it's a follow-up, <clears throat> it can be, hey, Stacy, I know we've talked about, well, first of all, start with something personal. Like, like she said, I hope you had a great weekend. Hope your kids are doing good. Hope you're not dying out there driving Uber and back and forth to soccer and baseball and all the thing, whatever, whoever the person is, you know, you have a conversation and then say, Hey, you know how we've talked about you possibly joining my team. This is something I've, you know, really wanted. And I would love for you to come to a call, um, that is happening the following Tuesday. Let me know if you're interested. It's going to be an amazing call. It's from our, our, from a guy from corporate, um, that I really respect. And I think he's going to give you a great idea of kind of our company and why I'm so proud to be a part of this affiliate, um, to be an affiliate for this company and then ask them. Okay. So again, ask them if you can send them the information. If they say yes, then follow up with the, the little image. Okay. Does anybody need that image? I can't put it on there because I don't have, everybody got it. 
Okay. Uh, and you know what might be helpful too here, uh, Steph? Um, Pamela, do you want to pull up the uh, some of the HLA language that you yeah. might want to throw into a text message? Um, I'm going to pull up maybe two of the images that um, that we had talked about. The ones you texted me? Yeah, hang on just a second. Y'all go ahead and get started as you're waiting for this because we don't want to waste time. So y'all go ahead and get started. You've got three or four minutes, at least one person. Invite, make the jump. Don't be nervous. If they say no, it's not the end of the world. Go to the next person. Um, yeah. I got told a hard right, look at the, These but. are, these are, th this is HLA language. You know, we're health food pioneer. We're plant food innovator, functional food leader. Uh, Juice Plus, it's the compound effect. It's just plants. It's the daily habit. It's recurring income. You could start using some of this language in, in, in when you're reaching out to people. Believe me, this language changes the game. Um, Camille, we'll switch back to that, but I want them to see our bragging rights, the one with the image that's not that clear. All right, these are our bragging rights. You know, we are number one in daily plant food support. We are number one in peer-reviewed published research. We are number one. We have the largest health food study in the world where kids eat free. You know, we're number one in residential gardening systems. We're number one in plant omegas. These are our bragging rights. Use them. All right. So heads down. Y'all have now got like two minutes left. You can keep the you can keep the slide up if you want, Pamelia. Yeah, put up the one with all of the HLA language on it. Yes, and Alicia has a good point that honestly, if you guys do not have boards right now on your phones, you're missing out a massive part of life. So make sure that you go to your upline NMD if you don't have boards downloaded to your phone. Um, because these are going to be super important for our action times. All right, get to work. One minute. While you guys are thinking about people, don't forget your current customers. I feel like so many times we bypass the people that are taking and loving their Juice Plus um, to invite them to all these calls. I mean, the more we build their confidence in the product by coming, for instance, to the John Blair tomorrow night, that's a great way to um, give them the confidence of what they're taking. But then also a lot of those can can turn over into affiliates. 
So make sure that you guys are inviting current customers to be a part of these things because they're already they're already open, obviously, to, to Juice Plus because they're taking it, but they might be open to sharing it. Um, so don't discount your, your current customers. Yeah, and you know, Steph, that that's so true because you know, if you've had a customer, whether it's six months or a year or two years, they've had an experience. And because they've had an experience, they have something that they can share with someone else. So when I when I am thinking recruiting and bringing people to team, I think customers first. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We want people who can validate an experience and share that experience. In fact, Apulia, will you take this off the screen and go back to the peoples? Uh, the peoples. I want to ask. Faces. I want to ask you a question real quick. Who on here was a customer before they became an affiliate? Okay, so look at the images, right? That's a lot of hands. That's the majority of us. So I want you guys to remember that I was a customer for 10 years before I became an affiliate. So continue to drip on those customers and love on them. Okay, next. Um, so Stacy just um, updated our boards today. So if you guys don't know, for a, for a lot of us national marketing directors, we actually pay Stacy to do it, to do our boards and update them. And she does an amazing job and lets us know every time there's something new. And we got a message today that there was some newness. And so if you have boards on your phone, then I was messaging my person, <laughs> um, go ahead and open it up. <laughs> and if you're on your phone right now, just minimize your Zoom screen, it's fine. And go to new, okay? There should you bring it up on the screen. Yeah. Yes, Even Amelia Parker. <laughs> Come on, PP, let's go. All right. So you see new income right there. So go to new income opportunities right there in the front. I feel weird because I'm trying to click it. Okay, so go to that income opportunity comparison right there. You guys, look at this image. Okay, I don't, this is brand new. So a lot of you guys have not even seen this yet. Um, Stacey, where did you grab this from? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, the Juice Plus Hub has oh. a lot of really good resources, but what you want to do, and this is probably the best tip I can give you every Thursday, the company between like four 30 Eastern time and seven o'clock Eastern time, the company sends out juice plus insights via email. There are a ton of brand new resources and all of these assets are going to be coming out through the juice plus insights where you can just click and it'll bring you directly to the, uh, to the resource. Now, so much of the resources are going to be in the hub anyway. But what's nice about the email is that it kind of gives it to you in pieces. So then what I end up doing is I get these actually in advance of Juice Plus Insights coming out. I then take them, download them, and then put them on here. Can I show you one other thing? Can you get out of this for a second? So now I want you to do me a favor and click on, yep, get out of income opportunity. Can you click on business slide presentation? So the company just created a brand new, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, presentation on our business. It's a PDF file that unfortunately is too large to be uploaded to boards. You can go through the insights email that was sent last Thursday. You can go through that email, click on it and download the PDF yourself. So you have it if you want to do any kind of um, presentations. But if you are on Terry's board or Stephanie's board, um, Holly's board uh, or my board, you know, if you are doing any of that, if you're on any of those boards, I always take the presentations and then make screenshots of each image because they become incredible stories or it's a perfect image I can share in a post. A lot of times I don't want the presentation. I just want a couple of random images from the presentation. So if you look, everything is, uh, all these images are in order of the way the presentation goes. But if you click on, for example, the third one, one, two, three. Yep. This is just a beautiful image. Who is Juice Plus? 
we're a global company of pioneer, right? These are words that the Healthy Living Affiliates use. We're pioneers of plant-based nutrition. We have a mission-driven community. Like what an awesome quick image to throw into a story and like put some, like a cool um, engagement thing. That's like, who wants to join this mission? Who wants to be part of this? And put a poll or something where people can engage, right? So the reason I always, once I get something like this, I take the images is so that we can use them in different ways. And then we are 100% compliant 100% of the time. Compliance is important. And we want to make sure that we are compliant with what our company wants us to say. And when I do this with these images, it gives us the opportunity to do that. The very last thing, Stephanie, I'm sorry. I just want to share. This is super important. If you can jump out of this for a second um, and then go out. Okay. So go where, where it says reels, join our business. Here's what you need to know about this. Boards has allowed us to download uh, videos. Our company has, I think, almost 12 different reels that are coming out. This is just one of them, okay? But here's the thing. You can't upload it into a story. You can share it directly from the app on your phone into a Facebook post or an Instagram post. But in order for this to work in a story, you're going to have to download it first onto your phone and then upload it as a story. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. But that is all. This is just some, and I'm going to tell you that actually the rest of the company doesn't have this yet. I got this today and I got the okay to share this with the people whose boards that I that I that I manage. And, um, so you, nobody else has this, this is the same. So the top two are the same reels. One is for a post one is for a story. It's just the sizing is different. And the bottom one that says business opportunity, where you see those two women, it's a gift. There's no sound to it. So that's something you'd want to download and then upload into a story and put your own sound to it. Put something like hop in. That's going to make someone excited to do it. Okay. I hope that helps. Wow. Oh my gosh, Stacy Whitmer. Um, I'm so, I, what do we what do we say to Stacy? I mean, first of all, Stacy mains. You know, it, I'm going to say main stage at conference rocked the house. I mean, she was so amazing. Her breakouts packed. There wasn't a seat to be found. And Stacy, when are you going to bring that program to us here on Monday? Is it next Monday? Fifteenth. So not next Monday. The Monday after. Yeah, the fifteenth. Okay. So Again, thank, again. Thank you for adopting me. Oh gosh. And, and you know what, Stacy, though, I want everybody, we have so many partners under the team up umbrella who don't participate in our Monday night calls. It is time to get them involved. So thank you, Stacy, for this. Thank you for being my eyes and Steph's eyes on boards. Thank you for that. And oh, by the way, guys, how many of you are sitting there going, well, you know what? I'm not going to promote too much because. What if we don't have enough lines? I know that's going on in some of your thinking. Well, I heard from Don Rathman that we have acquired 3,000 lines for our Tuesday night programs. Hands up. So exciting. All right, Steph Fletcher, back to you. Okay, well, we're actually out of time. And I do yes, want we are. to respect everyone's time. So... Hopefully you guys got two connections done and hopefully you guys got some good ideas from boards from Stacy, and um, kind of know where you're headed. Hopefully the next time we do this, we'll have a little bit more time to, I know we were kind of explaining some things this round, um, but this is kind of going to be the rhythm of what we're going to do. We're going to first Monday of the month, we're going to get heads down and really try to focus on connections and not too much, you know, extra stuff. And then we'll go into a training on the 15th. We'll go into follow-up on that last Monday of the month. And then you guys always will have two um, Healthy Living Affiliate calls. You guys can invite two, one more product focused, one more business focused. And then once you get those new affiliates to join you during that month, now we have a Saturday startup that will all, always be the third Saturday, which means you guys, it's all plug and play. This means that you just have to make the connections and then plug them into where they need. And people that have been doing this for a long time, our incredible speakers will be able to train those affiliates when um, you guys are ready. So hope you, hopefully you guys got something out of this, but 
Now you got some ideas of what to go to from boards. Know that your verbiage, it's your own. It's good. Don't overthink it. Try to time yourself. Give yourself like three to five minutes for every connection. And don't, if, if it's three minutes and you haven't sent it, push send. I don't even care if it has an accidental cuss word in it. Just send it. It's more, it's funnier anyway at the end. You can go back and say, oh my gosh, I didn't even know I said that. <laughs> Whoops. It doesn't matter. People love it when you're just you. So that's all for tonight. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night at the HLA call. All right. Hey, thanks, Steph. Thanks, everybody. Uh, this is the Rhythm of Success for HLA and the Rhythm of Success for Team Up. Peace and blessings, everybody. Love you. Thank Sweet you, dreams. Bye. Bye.